Good morning, good morning. Um, Jilly Cube, I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, for anybody that doesn't know. Um, today I'm going to do a pour over another glass. This, this particular glass was a coffee, just a Nescafe coffee, um, you know, container that it came in. In Australia, we still get glass, which is wonderful. So I love to make these glass containers. Either you can use them as storage again because they come with a lid that's um, airtight or you can make them into a vase or I've done this one a long time ago. Um, this particular one I poured over. I don't know if you can see it. Have I got it there? I poured over and it's my utensils container and it's in my art room you could definitely use it as you utensils con container in your kitchen and do it in your kitchen colors so they come out very nice i either seal them with a, just a gloss varnish or you can actually resin them um, and i just to wash them i just wipe them over with a soapy cloth so all good so today um i'm doing one for a friend and she just wants pink and black because that's the colors that she wants so what i do to um, prep my glass of course it, I've, i have put it through the dishwasher before and it's clean but you can use 100 percent or isoprol spray it and then you just it just gets any greasy marks off it try to keep your hands off it which i should have been wearing my gloves so as not to get the greasy hands that's all you have to do and the paint does stick to it so i've done that and what i did do on this one because i wanted a flat bottom where the bottom of the the jar as a concave so fine when i'm pouring paint all the paint sits in there and takes ages and ages to dry so what i've done is i've put i've put a little placemat and I just got some glue and I've glued that onto the bottom. So when it actually does stand up, it, you know, when it's finished, it's um, a nice little support for the bottom. This is just one of my old plastic cups and this is a canvas. So none of the paint gets wasted. You can redo another piece of art on your canvas. So I'm putting this particular one there and I'm placing my glass jar, which will be a container. I hope that's, you can grab a little, um, a little level, spirit level. What am I doing? I have got no clue. Okay. So uh, I need the bubble in the center, don't I? I'm bubbled up. I'm bubbled up. Can you still see that or have I got that out of the camera? Yeah, I've got it. Oh, let me, let me go in. Oh, oh, okay. Can you see it? So it's my little bubbles there in the center. And so that's nice and level enough to pour paint. Rightio, so those jobs are over. Uh, you need to wear a pair of gloves. Oh, the other thing that I didn't mention to you, which you can do, a lot of people say, oh, sometimes the rim becomes a bit yucky. Well, you can either just, I like to either run gold or silver around the rim, or you can buy these rolls of, oh, in finishing things. And I've quite often, when it's fully dry, put them around the rim. And they look really nice too. I should have showed you that while I got it down. So these, you can use all sorts of things to cover up, a, you know, a rim that you don't like or where the screw top has been. So that's no problems. I'm going to use a mixture today of like, this is the black and pink she wants. So these are pre-made pouring paints, meaning I do not have to add anything to them. So I've got lamp black and hot pink. And I have got some of my own um, magenta made up. And I might put this on first. What it will do is just coat it a bit and give it um, 
you know, a nice slippy surface for the rest of the paint to cling to. So that's my plan. But now I've gone and measured it. I'm gonna put that aside a second because I'm gonna use my split cup. Um, I think somebody from the US sent me these split cups. They are on my Amazon shop. The link is down below. So I'm gonna use a split cup. So what I'll do is I'll put the paints in my split cup, see how we go. And if I need more than one split cup, I'll just put it again. So I might put two lots of paint. I'm actually gonna just put the, I'm not gonna mix oh, down either side. I'm gonna just put the two hot pinks down the outside and the black on the inside. So the colours might not be for everybody, but these were the colours my friend requested. Hot pinky girl, hot pinky girl. And the black I'm going to put in the centre. So remember, these are all pre-made up when you buy them. Um, they are a little bit more expensive than making your own pouring medium for fluid art, but lots of people find that easier. So there you go, pink and black. Rightio. So I'm going to bring that over. Now I have to redo me bubble. Oh, it's perfect. So that's sitting on the cup, meaning that when your thing is almost dry or, or you can lift the cup, put it over there. I can put it away till it's dried. When it's dry, you actually squeeze the plastic cup and it releases from the glass. So it's simple. I probably should cut that down a bit or... Anyway, we will go with the flow. And like I said, I'm just gonna put some of my own uh, magenta pink that I made up, just start it off. So let it run down the glass. It just gives it something for my other colors to stick to. So just starting off like this. And you can always like leave it for a minute or so because the, the paint runs down the glass slowly, you know, and that, believe it or not, it sticks to the glass. So, oh, 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 oh. There's gonna be no wasted paint because I can use the paint on the canvas to either scrape it off into a cup or use it for dips or whatever you choose to. So, it's running down there nicely. I definitely think that's a hot pink. And with the other hot pink over, it should be pretty good. Rightio, let's see how this goes. I hope you can, ooh. Gosh, I'm glad I didn't put any more of that black in. That's literally taken over. Well, let's see how that travels. My pinky's slipping off, isn't it? I've got a lot of pink on this side. Let's see if I do little rings around, like just in a little ringy motion. Well, that's a little bit better, I think. I think I might just have to leave that to dribble down, see what I get. But it certainly seems that the pink, oh no, that's, that's far better now. It certainly doesn't need any more paint. So I am going to just leave that now to dribble down the sides. I think that that's the perfect look for it. 
um, but it will look completely different after I leave it for a, a little while to uh, dribble so I might get on and put that aside and just try and work on the canvas now the difficult part as you see it's it's come down quite nicely that looks lovely I'm going to try to remove this plastic cup over to the side and I'm really hoping that I do not allow the glass to fall okay that was easier than anticipated so I've left that to the side now and I will work on the pink on there haven't I so I might tip that out tip that out always be a nice artwork to go with your glass vase or utensils jar whatever you want to make with it I guess you can the world is your oyster. Rightio, let's see what I get with this again doing a, I might go the kind of the waterfall pour. I'm just going to lift this end up a bit and I'm going to just let those run. Just the simple two colours. I might change it, I might not. We'll just see, hey? These are quite thick paints, that's why I find them really good for sticking onto things like the vase, the vase, the glass jar. Ooh. Let's see how we go with this. Let's tilt it to cover my canvas. Wow. So simply stick two colours but can look very effective. It's just a nice gentle tilt till you get all the canvas evenly covered, I guess. So let's get back down to that corner. I've got some kind of animal look in here. Wow. There's a seal there. And when you turn it around, this looks like a mouse. Look, the ear, the eye. <laughs> That's crazy cool. Crazy cool. Well, so that's no paint wasted. Look, just a bit around there. So from your vase to your piece of art, you can definitely, um, well, you could definitely do some more with that if you choose. You can make it into something else. But, I mean, just simple. There's two pieces of art. There's not that much paint wasted. For the people that say so much wasted paint, they don't often see the end product, uh, the piece of art underneath that you're creating as well. Not that it should matter to anyone. So... It is now probably about 18 hours after I poured on this. So it's dry enough now to hold, hold the uh, glass jar and pull it off the plastic. So you can actually peel that off when it's fully dry. But as I said, if you want to do anything to the rim, actually this rim is quite lovely. It's got the effect over the edge. And like I've mentioned, that you can put some embellishment on the rim if you, you so wish, like this. You can cut those down to two rows and you can finish it off something like that. That looks blingy. You may not want to add any bling to it because that's 
fully okay but before I would actually put anything on it I would either um, coat it with the varnish you can spray varnish it or you can um, use the resin which is a top coat resin a one-to-one -one ratio I use this apparency epoxy resin and you can um, coat with resin and have it like like a glass finish but I find that it's just as um, if I do just a, a wipe on varnish which I've got in my description there's a link below in the description box that tells you how to do the wipe on varnish and you can do a couple of coats of that and it seals it so that's what my girlfriend wanted was the pink and black simple as that I'm going to find out what she wants me to do with the top so I'll let that dry off the cork I just that I put on the bottom I just uh, use the paint that was sitting there to finish it off so it stands up nicely so there you go there's the finished product all good to go so I'll let it dry a little while before I gloss coat it now like I said I'll find out if she wants me to put a rim or if she's happy with this rim um, to wash these I just wipe a, a damp soapy cloth over they can't go in the washing machine in the dishwasher um, not even if it's resined, I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher, but it just takes nothing to wipe over it with a damp soapy cloth. But they do look nice embellished. If you're into a bit of bling, then that's <laughs> that's the thing you want. Rightio, I will whoop, leave it for there and um, have fun, people. Give it a go. It's really easy and you can use up all your glass jars or some old vases around the house that don't look so cool now. All right, bye for now. See you tomorrow.